What is up everybody, it's your boy Trippio, back at it again with another video. Today's video is going to be a QA and a with my friend, Professor Xavier. And he's going to be asking me questions for the Q&A that you guys ask me. So the first question is going to be... Um, first question Mom, is from our friend, Jesby, and he asked, What was the most saddest moment in your life? See, the most saddest moment in my life, I think it was when my grandfather passed away. Because like we used to be close, we used to be really, really close, and like you know, he, he just left, and you know, it was like, it was like quick, so I wasn't expecting it. And it was really sad. This next question comes from our friend William. William. William Lance. Oh. And he asked, what inspired you to make a YouTube channel? Um, the person that inspired me to make a YouTube channel was Fuzzy too. I see how amazing this guy is, and you know, he gave me motivation. I watch his vlogs every day. I watch his main channel. And you know, he was basically the one that motivated me to keep doing, to follow my dreams and stuff. So yeah. Next question is from Alan, and he asked, "Who do you work well with when doing videos?" Um, I work well with anybody, just as long as they agree with the ideas, you know, that of the video. Like, let's say we're doing like a like a challenge video. If they agree with the challenge that we're doing, then we're gonna work well together. Next question comes from me. Yeah. And I asked him, what do you do in your spare time between YouTube and school? In my spare time between YouTube and school, I, if I have homework, I do homework sometimes. Um, anyways, um, I also watch like different videos of like how I can, I can improve my channel, how I can, you know, like do different stuff to like, you know, like to keep you guys entertained and stuff like that. And yeah. So the ne this next question comes from our friend Kimberly and she asked, what is life? Oh, live to it. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> <laughs> life is whatever you want it to be. If you want life to be success, then you're gonna you're gonna have to set your mind to it. If you say, "Oh, I'm gonna do this because I want my life to be this way," then your life is gonna be that way. I'll, just as long as you motivate it, you know you're gonna want life to be for you whatever you want it to be. Words of wisdom. Hashtag preach. <laughs> anyway, our friend Milay asked, which animal do you consider the sexiest? Wait, the sexiest animal I, I think is a horse. Ever since I was small, I love horses. Like, I remember that when I used to, you know, when I used to be in the yard, um, I used to go like horseback riding like twice a week mm -hmm. because like we used to live close to like a farm, so you know, it was it was so fun and you know like I started loving and like horses and you know like I still have that in me. It's like. Like, look at the mess. Look at the body. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Ali asked, chicken or steak? Oh, chicken. I'm Dominican. I like chicken. Listen, I don't know what some people say that the Dominican flag represents rice, beans, and chicken. I have no idea how that relates because, you know, food and flag. But, yeah, I'll go with chicken. I've been eating chicken since I was born. Well, not since I was born, but, you know. Yeah, so I'll go with chicken. So, our friend Jocelyn, she asked, what's the craziest thing that ever happened to you? Well, it depends if it's positive or negative. Um, if it's positive, the craziest thing that happened to me was when I was born. Because I, I, I know that if I wasn't born, then the world wouldn't be the same without you or me. So, that's a, that's a good thing when I was born. Okay, Maylin asked, what is your favorite Dominican phrase, word, or expression? Oh, God. Ah, uh, oh you got right. it right there. <laughs> uh, my favorite Dominican phrase is "que lo que manito" is like, bro, it's like, what's up, my brother? It's like, you know, like when you say that to a Dominican, they feel like they close to you, like they feel like you're like the brother and stuff. So, you know, it's like I don't know. I always hear people saying that, and like especially when they say that to me, I feel like we can relate. Like if you, I feel the connection. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. That connection, like, is yeah. like the connection of you guys. Right now, like. You see me talking to you? That's the same connection I feel when they talk to me. Uh, FYI, mom, in the future, since I know I'm going to show you this video, what he just said, I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> Julio asked, subscriber goal for 2016. Oh, my subscriber goal for 2016. I'll say 500 because, like, I feel like, Without you guys' help, I'm not gonna I'm not going to grow that much. But like, if you guys help me like a lot, if you guys like share my videos, like my videos and other stuff, if you guys subscribe, then I'll be able to reach 1,000 as soon as possible. 
it's up to you guys to decide if you guys want me to accomplish my goal or not. So <coughs> make sure you subscribe. Scroll down and like to the video and then there's a subscribe button. Under the video, you just gotta click that and that's it. Our friend Helene, judging by her comment, she, she got a lot to say. But anyway, <laughs> she said, how did you get your YouTube username? Um, I actually didn't come up with my um, YouTube username. My, my, um, my cousin in the yard, he used to sing and like that was the artistic name that he gave me so like you know like in his song um one day he was like creepy yo and he referred to me i was like who is creepy yo and then he was like i was talking about you so like after that like you know that's on my mom and whatever and then everybody started calling me that and then after that like, you know like now that's my nickname so that's why i put that as my youtube channel our friend maria asked what do you believe is the key to success oh maria i'm gonna tell you right now the key to success is motivation you can be able to accomplish anything you want just as long as you, as you stay motivated. If you're motivated, like you know, if you're motivated and you want to do what you're doing, then you'll be able to be successful because that's the case of success. So wise. Where's the lip line? <laughs> and the last question is from our friend Ashley, who asked, Who are your favorite YouTubers? Oh, my favorite YouTubers. Um, I'll have to go with FoosyTube and Roman Atwoods. Pussy too, because I see how amazing this guy is. He's he wants to be a motivational speaker, and I feel like he's getting there. He motivated me to create my YouTube channel and Roman Atwood because I feel like I see how amazing this guy is. Like I see how much he loves his family, and I hope that when I grow up, I can love my family as much as he loves his family. So that was it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment below any questions that you guys have for the next Q and A. Um, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share the video so people can, you know, come to my channel and subscribe. If you guys want to help me accomplish my goal, um, I will link the link below for his channel and the video that he's going to upload so you guys can see it. The video that we did today is a, a class. So, yeah, we did the accent challenge on my channel. He failed a lot. I won. It was funny. Bro, you struggled on late three of them. I still won. <laughs> I still won. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, make sure you guys... Give it a thumbs up, share, comment, subscribe, and all that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.